Well, good evening, APRI and APRI friends. I want to welcome you to what's going to be a very, very exciting night. And as a matter of fact, a very exciting week. But before I do, on behalf of the board of directors of the National A. Philip Randolph Institute, I cannot thank our youth division enough for the great work that they have done, making sure that everyone is counted in the upcoming census. You know, this census is going to be very important to communities of color. We have to make sure that our communities are not only represented, but also receive the necessary resources in order to make sure that we have vital services in our community. What this pandemic has told us is that our communities for too long have been marginalized. Our communities have dealt with disparities that have caused us as people of color to be greatly affected more so than others by this COVID-19. So we have to make sure that we demand the resources in order to make sure that our communities uh, participate in vital services that's necessary for us and our families. And the only way that we could do that is to make sure that we fill out the census. And you, the APR youth, has been really carrying that message and we couldn't be prouder of you than what you always do, but what you have specifically done toward the census. Tonight, we are proud to have DJ Rob LaRock, a steelworker DJ, who's going to be entertaining you tonight. But the goal of this week is to make sure that we get the message out that everyone please fill out the census. And no one has been a greater, stronger supporter than the work that we do, than our president, Cleola Brown. <laughs> Cleola Brown, has given, she, she gives me the pleasure of working with her every day. She's a strong activist. She's a leader in our community. She's a trade union leader. And we're so fortunate to have her as the president of the A. Philip Randolph Institute. So without further ado, I would like to introduce you to my friend, to my leader, to our president, Clayola Brown. Clay? Oh, my goodness. I'm going to pay you after this for all of those flowery words that you just <laughs> And you got some witnesses with our folks who are tuning in tonight for this kickoff. Let me say this in absolute seriousness. Uh, Fred Redmond is probably the best chairman that I've ever had the pleasure of working with because he's always for real and he tells it like it is. And that's exactly what APRI is about. But he also speaks our language, which is also relevant for who we represent. Across this country, APRI has the pleasure of working for people from every single work of life. And they talk different in certain parts of the country. They act different in other parts of the country. Uh, they produce differently in some parts of the country, but they're all trade unionists and community activists who care about the communities of color and specifically the black community, but all communities of color and everyone else when it comes to basic needs. Now, our chairman just got done telling you about the census and that's the reason for this piece that our young people came up with. They gave the two of us, the old ones, the pleasure of introducing it. And then they said, get out the way, we got this. And we know you do because this is your second round. Um, the census has to be communicated in spite of all the craziness that's going on right now. We've got to make sure that we stay focused APRI and get the job done because the census depends on so many things that helps to make our communities better. As our chairman just said, all of our livelihood for our community is judged by our numbers. And those numbers will dictate things from the number of garbage pickups that you get to the number of schools that are in your community, the kind of uh, utilities that you are afforded, whether or not there's enough broadband in your community so that you can participate in all of the things that you now must do by computer. Uh, all of those things that seem like, well, the census just wanna know what we're doing. Yeah, the census needs to know what you're doing so that they can do more for us. So we're starting off this week and the kids gave us a name for what, not the kids, the young adults gave us a name for what this is to be called, right, Fred? And That's it's right. called 
<laughs> it's called uh, APRI 2020 Census DJ Takeover Reboot. And we are partners with a number of other organizations as we have been for the last few months in reaching to the African-American community. We're partners with the National Coalition on Black Civic Participation, the Black Women's Roundtable, National Action Network, Urban League, um, National Council of Negro Women just came on board and asked for their partnership with us. And we said, absolutely. They're ready to go with us in the city of Charleston. They saw the work that our young people in Charleston were doing. And of course, our youth who are not shy about bragging about what they're doing said, let's call and get our chairman and our president to okay that. And we said, okay, right away. Uh, so the National Council of Negro Women are on board. And of course, all of our APRI chapters and regions around the country and our community partners that do such good work. Now, this reboot that they're telling us that we have to introduce tonight is from May the 11th through the 17th, which means that they start on Monday. And Monday through Friday, the time frame is 7 o'clock to 8.15 p.m. each night. They will have a different DJ every night. We got an opportunity to hear several of them the last round that they did on the first trial run that they put out in honor of the census. And uh, my God, they even had us old folks rocking with them. So the old folks said, we want something in it this time too. Yeah. So the Monday through Friday will be purely their discretion on what they put out. Saturday from one to eight o'clock is when they really had the big party. That Saturday, May the 16th, they will just roll from one o'clock in the afternoon to eight o'clock at night. And it's a good time. And Sunday, is when we said we wanted something. One of our board members, Diane Babineau said, well, how about slow it down just a little bit? Give us a little slow, smooth jazz, Fred. Is that what she said? Smooth jazz, smooth right? Jazz. I know all about it. <laughs> smooth jazz. <Yeah. laughs> so smooth jazz will be coming up at you at one o'clock on Sunday afternoon. But then from the last round, one of our DJs uh, did a gospel mix that we didn't even know he was going to do on that Sunday. Right. And he had so many views and so many requests to come back and do it again. So that will happen at three o'clock on the Sunday. Now they are going to do their part. So APRI family, we are asking you all to do your part. The last time there were three thousand views of what these DJs and our youth and our membership around the country did. Seven, no, I'm sorry, 7,000 was what they ended up with as a final number. Almost 8,000, 7,600 and something, I can't remember. But this time the challenge is on because the youth want to take it completely, which is a cool thing. So we'll see just how well they rock it out. The DJs are phenomenal. We sneak to listen to and we heard them. Uh, for those of you who are, are going to be listening, just know that this is APRI. There'll be no cussing in what we're doing when we're promoting the census. But you're going to get DJs who know a little bit about the census, too, to talk about the importance of it over the course of those evenings. Our chairman has given all of the go ahead for every single element that we are planning to do. We work closely together. And I want to say publicly, thank God for the steel workers because the steel workers have been with us from the very beginning, making sure that whatever avenue we have to take to get the word out, that we had the backing of the organization to make that happen. And a shout out to our sister, Melanie Campbell, who will be talking to you during the course of this week from Black Women's Roundtable at some point. Uh, Holly Holiday will come by and say hello on an evening. Uh, am I missing anyone, Fred? No, I think they got it, but we'll have people coming in and out. People come in and okay. I know that Petey Pally mentioned she want to be with us, our good sister. That's from right. Hawaii. And there'll be people coming in and out all week. Well, that's all I've got. I don't know anything else that we need to do to introduce it. No, let's just rock it. Let's rock it. Get nope. out the way. Okay. All right. Get those census done. Let's make it hot going into October deadline on the census. Thanks, guys. Looking to hear you on the whatever this venue is or platform, as they say, Fred, that they're going to be shooting it out on. So thank yeah. you, Mr. Chairman. All right. Thank you. And enjoy the evening and enjoy the week. Thank you very much. Yes. Yeah.